All right, let's get this exhaust installed. So, that's what we've got. Flow Pro, where's the part number here? I don't know where the part number is on the box. I'll find it in a sec and I'll put it up on the screen. But uh, yeah, let's get this baby installed. Full Flow Pro turbo back four inch exhaust. But uh, in the meantime, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of a cold start and we'll take it for a rip up the road and get a couple sound clips of before and after. You know, even though there's 10,000 clips of it on YouTube, probably should do my own. So let's get at it. get back and hack this off. I literally mean hack this off. I'm literally going to take a sawzall and cut it off and all we need or all we should need to put it in I believe is a 916 socket and a sawzall to cut it out. Shouldn't really need anything else. I know on one of my last trucks I had to lift the cab. I'm hoping this truck I don't have to. We're going to find out. So go do this so chances are it's getting late now it's probably going to be too late to do sound clips when I'm done so we'll uh, get sound clips tomorrow during the daylight when uh, we're not gonna make all the neighbors angry so. all right so here's what we got so what we're gonna do I remember from my last one we had to cut it up here why is this all wrapped? Interesting. <laughs> all right. Gonna cut it about here. I think I'm gonna cut it right there, Dana. First, I'm gonna unwrap this. So, two thirds of the old one is out. And it's a good thing I did decide to do this because this is pretty soft. So it would have just been a matter of time and that would have either rotted off or would have had quite the leak. But yeah, so not too bad at all. A couple minutes of uh, cutting with the Sawzall, literally. And uh, now the fun part, uh, getting this downpipe off. It's a little bit on the difficult side, but uh, nothing we can't handle. So let's get that loosened off and get her to drop down. All right, as I'm sure you can see, new shirt, new day, and I'm walking. I ended up breaking my blade last night, so I gotta walk down and get a blade. So I'm not gonna bore you with the walk, but uh, got one more section to cut out. And I broke my blade in the process. And the only other way is to drop the transmission cross member. And well, I'm not gonna do that. I'd rather go for a little walk. So that's what I'm gonna do. See you in a minute. On the plus side, it's a beautiful day for a beautiful walk. So that's the view I get to look at while I'm walking. So, pretty spoiled if you ask me. So you're probably asking yourself, why am I going for a walk to get this done instead of paying somebody to do it? Well, the easy answer is nobody could get the truck in for quite a while. Everybody's pretty, pretty booked up. Not to mention the cost of the labor is actually more than the cost of the kit itself so and it's not like I haven't done one of these kits before I've done several so it's pretty simple to do so I'm gonna go for my morning walk and we'll get the stuff we need 
All right, got what we need. Let's work our way back up the hill and get this baby cut off. I can't believe that though, all of this walking, an hour walk just to get a disc, make one cut, <laughs> whatever, story of my life. So. Yeah, but I'm pretty excited. I uh, I didn't tell my kids I was doing the exhaust right away, so they're gonna be pretty surprised at the sound. My, my 10 year old loves it, so this will be good. All right, never too early to stop for my Tim Hortons coffee. Typical Canadian thing to do. A little bit out of the way to get back home, but uh, well worth the pit stop. So I'm gonna enjoy this and walk. All right, after battling and struggling with this downpipe, uh, I asked a question on a Facebook forum of how the heck do you get this off? Because I never had this problem on my 04 or my 06. But the only way to get it out is to actually remove all the insulation off the pipe. So we had to cut off like 10 or 12 of these bands and then take off, what, six layers of this? like Or six sheets of this stuff, probably? Yeah, probably six sheets of this stuff. And had to lift the cab. So right now the body is separated from the frame in order to get the opening through the firewall, I guess you want to call it. But yeah, so the moral of this video is don't do exhaust on an 03 yourself, pay somebody. <laughs> so there's the difference in the pipe. I mean, here, let me get to this side. So you can see that substantial size difference. So that'll lower the EGTs and give us one hell of a turbo scream. So let's start finagling this pipe in there and see how many four letter words we can throw out. All right, so I managed to get it done. As you can see, my whole mess is cleaned up here. Um, I don't recommend it on an 03. It is loud. And it's not even the exhaust note is loud. It is that turbo scream. It is unbelievably loud. So I think I may be putting a muffler in there, but I'll put a clip in here. Let me know what you think. In the meantime, let's uh, let's get a cold start going. Turbo screech is super gnarly, super loud. It, to be honest, kind of ear piercingly loud. We don't know if so, we'll pick up on the GoPro. Yeah, I really hope the camera picks it up. I'm just driving around right now to see if it uh, picks up a couple. Of, I hope it picks that up. That's loud. Like. But um, yeah, all in all, our four inch uh, Flow Pro exhaust kit. Well worth the upgrade. Yeah, as you've seen, I had a heck of a time with that uh, downpipe, but managed to get that insulation off and get that out without any more problems. But um, yeah, it was uh, all in all, it worked out pretty good. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And next time we'll be doing something. Hopefully with our bumper. Hopefully our bumper comes in pretty quick. So yeah. Be nice to get that taken care of. So. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Our